I recognize Mr. Evans for the purposes of a non germane amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, today I'd like to offer an amendment to Bill 9 557 and to an amend an act to provide for the treatment of sexual psychopaths in the District of Columbia and for other purposes to decriminalize certain private, consensual, non-commercial sexual acts between persons who are above the age of consent. No act engaged in only by consenting persons 18 years of age or older shall constitute an offense under this section. Um, I would like to move this amendment, Mr. Chairman. Now, this bill has not been set for a public hearing, and that is the time on a legislative process here within the District of Columbia at the City Council level. Uh, I believe that if we were to consider a bill of this impact, at this time, as a non-germane amendment to a very, very good bill, which is medical and geriatric parole, would be violative of our process, which has never been gone around. We normally go through the committees, and uh, the committees will be reorganized under your very apt jurisdiction, able jurisdiction, in January, and I'm sure the hearings and all will be set and the council will get a chance to vote. I never agendized a bill. I had a heavy agenda. As anybody look at that agenda can see we passed a number of bills that will impact distinctly upon the lives of the residents of the District of Columbia for a long you period of time. And, uh, and I'm glad you're doing that. We have, all, we have order in the chambers uh, unless I will put you out. Trust me. At this time, Mr. Chairman, in view of my preliminary remarks, I move to table this amendment. This is, in effect, a discharge, a discharge from the committee. We have never done this before. There are literally hundreds of very important bills before this committee, for the council, for young people, for the elderly, for housing, very, very important bills. Should we bring them before the council as a non-germane amendment? Is this the most important bill before this council? Is it more important than any other bill before the city council? Uh, would you put that man out with the yellow shirt, on, with the yellow tag, please? Would you, would you remove him from the chambers? You guys have to live up to your promises. We're going to have, we're going to have order in this chambers. We're going to have order in this chambers. We're going to have order in the chambers. You ought not to allow people to intimidate you in to voting for things. And I'm not going to be intimidated. Everyone has a right to protest, to go where they want to and protest. Fine. Express your free speech. But I'm not going to be intimidated. And what is happening with this bill is members are being intimidated into voting this way. What these individuals are saying to you, unless you vote on my conditions, when I say, the way I say, then we're going to be on your back. That is not a way to legislate. It's not a way to legislate. Now, there are those who have accused Mrs. Rolart here today of bugging this bill up for eight years. That is untrue. It's falsehood. Put him out, to One with the glasses on with the white T-shirt. Let's go. There is no threat here. The city administrator is issuing an order not prohibiting the police from even enforcing this law. The Metropolitan Police Department, through the direction of the mayor and the city administrator, has been told not to even enforce this law. Yeah, so why? So, what is the compelling reason to circumvent the entire process, to open the council up to any interest group who decide that we don't like the fact that the council has not acted on this measure, go ahead and introduce a non-germane amendment, 
Forget about the hearing process. Forget about having a report. Forget about the markup. Just bring it to the city council. Because that way we can stop folks from harassing us. We can get them off our back. Well, those who vote for this today, that's the process they buy into. That is not the process that I'm willing to buy into. I, I want everyone here to understand that I have fought for the rights of uh, homosexuals all of my life. I supported the, the bill when it passed, when it came out of committee and went through this council to the Hill. And that bill was killed by Congress. And the Congress is now in recess. So maybe I'm stupid, but I don't understand what you're saying that this is the best time because Congress is not there. The other uh, problem that I have is that if people really want to keep this alive, you should be lobbying on the Hill. The Congress has power over us. We don't have power over them. We can pass this, it will be killed. And then the bill that we are adding this on to will also be killed. They'll be killed. Then you have to come back and try to do that separate or we're gonna go through the fight again, fighting with Congress. Or we're gonna spend our time fighting about this or fighting about saving the lives of our children and saving senior citizens and protecting people from AIDS and all the other things that we have to be involved with. I don't understand how this becomes such a top priority that it gets to be on the agenda uh, of an, as a non-germane item. Now I have some non-germane, I have some items that I'd like to put on this, on this too like the bill that we carried through lots of hearings and meetings with the Board of Education about uh, full uh, uh, education throughout the system, full-time education for all students in the public schools. I'll put that on next time you have something, I'll put that on yours to try you out and see what you do and I'll bring the children in here so they can see how you behave, especially from Ward 2, okay? Um, I want to, to emphasize that I am a strong supporter of human rights, have been all of my life, even when the Klan was trying to lynch my father down in the state of Virginia, night after night. I have been a strong supporter of civil rights with Martin Luther King, Julius Hobson, all these other people. And if people don't trust me now, I'm sorry. I have given my life for human rights. And Mrs. Roark has done a beautiful job all of her life for human rights and civil rights. And I don't understand how if we're going to jeopardize, jeopardize our legislative process by taking something to the Congress that we know they've already killed one time and then attach it to another important bill, I cannot understand how anybody would attach this to a very important bill when you know it's gonna be killed. I just can't understand it. Look at me. I can't understand it. I'm a former teacher, counselor, and all of that. I don't understand. So I am saying that just because people here today, some of us, are not voting for this, doesn't mean that we don't support your human and civil rights. We support your human and civil rights. You can shake your head all you please. I'll shake mine too. Yes. <laughs> I am support of human and civil rights. And I support children and senior citizens and uh, gays and everybody. I love the world. But I try to be reasonable. I try to face reality. That's what I was taught by the man who worked on the Fritz Radl out at the National Institutes of Health, that you have to deal with reality. And the reality is that this bill was killed once by the Congress, have you fought this hard for statehood? Had this bill was killed by the Congress, we don't have the final authority, and they will do it again. And then that means that you don't care about the District of Columbia. You care only about yourself. And I'm sorry, I care about everybody, not only in the District of Columbia, but in this whole world. I'm concerned about humanity. Humanity. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.
Mr. Chairman, the vote is five yes, five no, three absent. The amendment fails. Yes, yes sir. I have an amendment. What is your amendment? Uh, uh, in any event, I feel very strongly that there's there's uh, there's no uh, proper rationale for. Chairman, are we going to allow these people to behave like they're, this in this they're, chamber? They're removing them now. Well, they're I, removing, they're removing I think, them I think, ought to, I think we ought to shut the government down. Shut it down. There's no excuse for that kind of disgrace. Well, where are the police? Are they going to take these people out of here? God, I'm telling you, this is really, I'm sorry, really Ms. something. Mason, let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, Mr. Brazil has just, the just to refocus. Martin Luther King said, where do we go from uh, here? Just, where we just to refocus. Ms. Uh, Mason, Ms. Mason. Oh, God. Ms. Mason. Mr. Brazil, you got an amendment. 